I have focused my study on the Branta canadensis species, otherwise known as the Canada goose. My focal behavior for this species was the act of preening, where a goose grooms its feathers methodically with its beak and feet by gnawing and stroking each feather from base to tip. Utilizing Tinbergen's four levels of analysis, I have proposed two proximate and two ultimate hypotheses for this chosen behavior. What mechanistic stimulus helps explain preening behavior? Using oil from the uropygium gland at the base of their rumps, Canada geese preen their feathers multiple times in a given day to keep their plumage healthy and strong, as well as remove debris and other foreign bodies. Jacob and Ziswire, 1982. Preening in pigeons, as suggested by Waite, Autumn, and Clayton, 2012, has been shown to also be an instinct and physiological behavior to an ectoparasite stimulus, such as feather lice and common house flies. Their studies showed as invasion of parasites rose, so too does the stimuli to preen. In addition to being adaptive to mate presence with feather degradation prevention, this preening behavior may help prevent the transmission of blood parasites that can cause harm or kill the individual. It has thus been suggested that using this internal drying behavior to preen frequently can be stimulated by the need to remove parasite organisms from feathers as well as maintain feather structures. Weight, Autumn, Clayton, 2012. What developmental action results in good preening practice? Preening can arise even without the aid of imprinting, but the benefit of social learning has been shown to increase this behavior in the presence of other birds. Socially facilitated preening in common terms, as suggested by Palacios and Berger 1997, plays a major role in how often they preen. By being in proximity of at least two other birds, a sole individual will preen synchronously with the others and has been shown to increase in frequency as the density of the flock increase. This in turn acts as a developmental bonus for goslings as they mature, as increased preening practice helps promote healthy plumage, and as suggested by Palacios and Berger 1997, an important piece of social interaction in conjunction with reproduction in group living species. How did preening efficiency arise within the species? As evolution has shown, animal behaviors evolved to better suit the individual's overall success, and therefore if preening is advantageous to the animal, so too shall it evolve. A strong relationship between bill morphology and preening behavior in waders, as suggested by Andres Barbosa in 1996, shows the correlation of bill length and success of preening, where shorter preening intervals coupled with a smaller bill increase the versatility of preening multiple sites. In the case of Canada geese, their beaks are relatively short in comparison to their bodies, thus allowing them to preen specific areas in short intervals, even in hard to reach areas such as the neck or back. This allows the geese to effectively remove debris and spread oil across their feathers. This relationship has shown large-billed birds spend considerably more time preening one area and are handicapped in the hard-to-reach areas. This impediment results in scratching behavior with the feet as an alternative, and coupled with longer grooming times leads to an overall drop in preening dexterity. Andres Barbosa, 1996. How does preening behavior correlate with increased fitness? From my previous analyses, preening has been shown to be advantageous for parasite control, aid in facilitated social behavior, and a strong component of morphological evolution. All of these coupled together help geese with reproductive success by mate acquisition. Females have developed various signals for assessing male quality, including behavior, chemical, and morphological pattern. Anderson, 1999. Preening helps maintain healthy, colorful feather patterns and is one of the key elements in mate choice. Female butch rigers, as described by Grigio, Cahoy, and Palastro, 2010, are able to distinguish between unpreened and preened males with something as simple as variation in feather UV color. Their studies indicated females spend a considerable longer amount of time and energy congregating with males with good preening habits, suggesting preening is a possible maintenance cost for honest signal in males. Using this idea, preening is advantageous in female mate choice as described as a hobby's indicator process. Males directly provide the benefit of mate and offspring guarding as well as joint foraging practices. As Canada geese mate for life, having the indirect benefits of choosing the most suited male based off his honest signal of well preened plumage becomes even more important as this gives females access to diverse quality genes for her offspring.